Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to chemistry class with chapter 5 liquids. Today we are discussing a very interesting phenomenon. Proceeding towards our topic, first of all, of all we discuss some common, uh, some daily life experiences. Like you have noticed a paper clip floating on the surface of the water if placed gently. Raindrops are spherical in shape. Butterflies or bur uh, insects can easily walk on the surface of water. Similarly, you have experienced that a glass fully filled with water, the water do not comes out of the glass. Why these all phenomena occur? These all phenomena are due to property of a liquid which is called surface tension. We will discuss today surface tension. First, we will discuss what is surface tension, its different definitions, unit of surface tension, factors affecting surface tension, applications of surface tension, method to measure surface tension, and at the last, there is assignment for new people. First of all, we consider a liquid molecule placed in a beaker. We focus on two types of molecules present in the beaker. As you people can see, this is a beaker in which water molecules are present. These white circles denote water molecules. There are two types of water molecules, one at the surface of the water molecules and other molecules which are present below the top surface or in the middle. First of all, we consider the molecules which are below the top surface like this molecule or this. If we consider this molecule, these arrows are showing the force of attractions. This molecule is experiencing right force and left force which are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Similarly, an upward force and a downward force. These four forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, so they cancel the effect of each other, and the resultant force on this molecule is zero. Now, same is with this molecule. But when we consider a molecule on the surface of the liquid, then it is experiencing right force and left side force, which are equal and opposite, so they cancel the effect of each other. Then here we see a downward force, which is not balanced by any upward force. So these all surface molecules experience a net inward or downward force which this force is called surface tension when all the surface molecules experience such force then that such force on the experienced by the surface molecules is called surface tension again you people can see uh, molecule in the middle and molecule at the surface of the molecule no resultant force on molecule at the center and the molecule at the surface experience a resultant downward force. By keeping in view these uh, concepts, we can define surface tension as stretching of liquid surface due to net downward force is called surface tension. When these all molecules are behaving like a stretched membrane, due to surface tension, then we have to do work to expand this surface. So the work done in increasing unit area of liquid surface is called surface tension. Surface tension can be defined as force acting over the surface of the liquid per unit length of the surface perpendicular to the force. Surface tense tension is the tendency of liquid surface to shrink into minimal surface area possible. This concept will be explained later on. It means because these all surface molecules are experienced a downward force, because of this downward force, 
such as molecules behave like a stretched elastic membrane this is known as surface tension then surface molecules behave like a stretched elastic membrane then this property of liquid is called surface tension because of this surface tension all uh, these experiences we notice in our daily life like insects can sit on that stretch elastic membrane and so on unit of surface tensions are joule per meter square or newton meter now come to birds a point that why needle or blade blade keep floating on liquid top surface when a needle is placed gently on surface of the liquid it starts floating but needle is experiencing a downward force due to gravity at the same time when all the surface molecules are experiencing a downward force and they are attracting each other and this surface is behaving like a stretched elastic membrane this needle keeps floating on its end without um, droning or without dropping into the liquid similarly insects can walk on liquid surface because of the same phenomenon that all the surface molecules are behaving like a stretched elastic membrane on which a liquid on which a insect can easily sit and walk it is just like this is basically a rock the rope but here this picture is attached to de uh, to develop imagination in your mind that liquid surface behaves just like this type of stretched membrane on which insect can easily sit and walk small drops of liquids tends to be spherical it is because molecules at the surface of the liquids are less stable why because they are experiencing uh, unequal forces and the molecule in the middle experience no resultant force so they are stable when more sur surface more liquids are less stable so liquid wants to wants to stable by keeping less molecule on its surface by keeping less surface molecule surface area uh, the molecule drops liquid drops tend to be spherical or spherical shape is the best shape in which molecules have less surface area the inward force on the surface molecule tend to cause a surface to volume ratio as small as possible so it stabilizes the molecule and gives spherical shape to the drop a spherical shape to the liquid molecule when we enlarge this uh, drop we see that it is a perfect spherical in shape our next topic is factors affecting surface tension there are three factors that affect surface tension intermolecular forces of attraction temperature and nature of liquid first we will explain intermolecular forces of attraction there is direct relation between forces of attractions and surface tension when forces of attractions among molecules increases surface tension will be increased then molecule will be non volatile and have maximum surface tension like water water has strong intermolecular forces named hydrogen bonding because of these strong forces they behave, they have high surface tension when force of attraction among molecules is low surface tension will be low like ether ethers have weak forces of attraction nonden dispersion forces so they are easily volatile and have less surface tension next is how temperature affects surface tension basically temperature is average kinetic energy of liquid molecule it is directly proportional to the absolute temperature when we increase the temperature of the molecules basically kinetic energy increases and when we decrease the temperature basically kinetic energy goes to decrease 
when we heat the sample temperature is increased which increase the kinetic energy of the molecules because kinetic energies are increases attractive forces among the molecules got broke down or get decreased because attractive forces got, uh, get decreased surface tension will be decreased and vice versa next is nature of liquid surface tension depends on nature of liquid different liquids have different values of surface tension because of different types of intermolecular forces of attraction next is application of surface tension this property of surface tension is very helpful in preparing ball bearings or bullets use of detergent powders for washing the cloths to purify water can be checked by value of surface tension oil rises in oil lamp up to tip of the wick because of surface tension low surface tension oils used for lubrication of machine parts to reduce the friction use of towel to dry our body after bath actually absorbs water due to capillary action which is basically because of surface tension surface tension can be measured by three methods torsion balance method capillary rise method and drop method this is end of our assignment i hope you people have liked this here is assignment for you water spider can easily walk on water explain it water top surface behaves like a stretched membrane for your comments paper clip can easily float on water surface explain with the reason drop of water are spherical why surface tension of water is higher than ether illustrate with the reason give units of surface tension thank you and have a nice day